Well, I got my paycheck yesterday, and like I said in my other video a few days back, payroll tax was going up 2% before they announced it publicly on television and the newspapers. And as for me, uh, it was about $32 short, so that makes $64 for a month. So that makes about $768 a year, depending upon, you know, I put in some overtime or something, it'll be more. So, regardless or not, whether we need to make Social Security solid, you, you, you must understand that for decades they robbed the trust fund and diverted the money for other things and blew it. That's why it's not got any money in, in the trust fund. It's just a bunch of empty file cabinets with IOUs in it. And their their excuse is well we need to need to raise the tax or whatever so we can put put it back to solvency. Very, very few, if any, discuss that fact that that money was taken and blown and looted, put in the back pockets of those that helped the loot. So they're not telling the truth, but just a wee, wee, wee few, far and few between whenever they do speak of it, which is very, very rarely that they'll say that. So thank you Barack Obama. I see that unemployment is still 7.7 .7, so I guess if it's stable you consider that a win. You consider things getting better if it's stable. Well, let me tell you what, stable don't cut it. Stable is not a win lowering, getting lower, returning people to not part-time employment, not flipping burgers, to good well-paying jobs that have longevity to where they are working full employment. Well this is a one day old article. Oh, you maybe heard some on the news broadcast, maybe you've already read it, but let's look at what they put out here at least and told us all. Part of their big deal to stop us from falling over the cliff. Extending a bunch of tax breaks to special interest. There's a good one. Motorsports entertainment complexes, racetracks, save their owners about 70 million bucks over the next two years. Boy, I am impressed with that, aren't you? That the NASCARs and the whatevers can now save. Boy, that just really. That was something that needed to be done, huh? Uh, much of Mr. King Obama's. law is targeted at individuals and families you know supposedly permanently but permanently doesn't mean permanent don't read into the word permanent because permanent is just going to be like for a period of time then they'll be wrangling about this stuff and wanting to do some more junk <clears throat> but that was a bush tax cut and this one here Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Wow. If you have ever listened to this woman and the things that she said, she is one of the biggest lionist paid do anything you tell me, say anything you give me to say hacks that I think I've ever wasted my time on hearing her say what she does depending upon the subject
but that she said the deal was a big gift wrap present of certainty. A big gift wrap present of certainty. So coming from this woman, that's a dead tip off that there's more pain to come through our finances. Lo the deal was loaded with extensions of separate existing tax breaks. About 67.9 billion yeah, uh, the extension will actually cost more, and then we'll see what this means. They were retroactive to cover last year, 2012, but some of the breaks and credits could be in effect for 10 years if they're left in place. Many cover only one or two, however. In addition to, and you can click that link, read the full 10-year analysis. In addition to giving the racing modules a big tax break, it also extended renewable energy products, wind turbines, biomass, geothermal and hydropower generation for one year. Got a cost of 116 million. And remember, he has took more of our money and gave it to several green energy companies. And those said green energy companies went belly up at the cost of the taxpayers of hundreds of millions of dollars combined probably into the B with a billion. And that's one thing. When these guys blow money now and steal from us, not so long ago, they dealt in millions, you know, hundreds of millions or, or something like that. Well, the New Deal nowadays is millions are not, hey, you know, why pinch pennies when you can go for the gusto, huh? They're into billions now. They don't mess around taking too, too many millions. They do the billions with a B. Okay, back to this. While the extension to qualify for a new project covers only this year, the actual tax credit is good for 10. So you got a, a qualifying project extension, but the actual credit goes for 10 years. That means new projects that break ground in 2013 can claim this credit for the next decade. Oh boy, at an overall price tag, slightly less than, there's that word again, 12.2 billion. An arcane provision of corporate tax law called active financing income lets U.S. corporations defer taxes on some income they earn from their overseas subsidiaries. And this provision will cost the Treasury more than nine, there's that word, billion this year and 1.8 billion next year. You gotta like the way they come up with these things active financing income. Tax breaks for Hollywood producers who shoot their movies and TV shows in the U.S. at a cost of about 430 million. Well, that's chicken feed, but it's still, they got, they got some. They got theirs, didn't they? Now, why would a Steven Spielberg or, you know, Quentin Tarantino or something like that need or, yeah, or how about that big blowhard, Michael Moore? Why would they need tax breaks when their movies already are successful and make them tons of money? Yeah, think about that one. Way to go, King Obama. A program that sends most federal taxes collected on rum, booze, produced in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands back to those territories to subsidize domestic production. $222 million over two years. <laughs> oh boy. You collect the tax on the rum made here in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and then you send it back there. 
to subsidize the production of the rum. Oh boy. Just think, somebody actually got paid to, to write these things into the bill. Oh yeah, they got a big back pocket full of money. Tax break worth 15 million a year for asparagus growers hit hard by cheap asparagus imported from Peru. Well, why are we importing asparagus from Peru if it's going to hit our domestic asparagus growers hard? Hmm. Four million in tax breaks over the next two years for people who buy two or three-wheeled plug-in electric vehicles. In other words, electric scooters, segways, and the like. Hmm. Well, the superintendent at the business that I work at in a shop, it's a pretty large shop, uh, yeah, he's about 67 or something. You know, and he's a uh, very wealthy, they pay him very well. He's one of the in club. Uh, he don't get around so good anymore. He's got a lot of miles on his tired legs and ankles and stuff from walking on that concrete floor for so long. He's worked there 50 years. Well, he's got something similar to a Segway, and it is a plug in. So I'm wondering if he qualifies for. A tax break which he doesn't need because he is paid in the six figure or more income totaling all the stock share and everything within the company that he has so again unnecessary the purpose of the deal is to present a series of steep cuts and in tax increases on the middle class from taking effect but we're not making it better or fairer the tax system correct Yes, you are correct on that, Mr. Isa. And I'm glad you had some seeds down there that you voted against it. We're not getting rid of the NASCAR loophole. We're not getting rid of the electric motor scooter low speed loophole. We're not getting rid of a whole lot of tax things that are here. No, we're not. And what's the big major thing on top of that? We did not what? We didn't rein in any spending, King Obama. You still have the open checkbook. The democratically majority, uh, excuse me, democratic majority of the Senate still has no budget. So they're going to reach into our back pockets as often and as deep as they want to, and they're going to take whatever they want, and they're going to say it's for our own good and it's still going to have to be wrangled with on increasing the borrowing limit. Well, if we were making any headway on our national debt, we wouldn't have to be increasing the borrowing limit. All that's going on is the amount that we owe is growing and getting bigger, and our lenders are not decreasing the interest rate, which means the interest is accruing and getting bigger, which is taking a portion, more of a portion of our GDP throughout the year to pay that interest payment, which we're not paying anything on the principal to bring the principal down. So common logic is if the principal keeps growing, it will never be paid off. If it's never paid off, then we continue to borrow money. And the treasury gets involved and then they start printing money and then the dollar gets devalued and sooner or later, just like the plan is, poof, we'll pull the rug out from underneath the American economic system and we'll introduce a new system and that make book on it will be the global NWO antichrist system of currency and operation it's a coming this is just another piece of the plan that's getting set up So do the best you can with what money that you make. That's all that we've got. Speak to you soon.